this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak about healing error. What is healing error? Healing error is actually not an error. It is the difference of compass errors. It is the difference of compass errors when the vessel is upright and the vessel is inclined. So we can mathematically say the healing error is equal to compass error inclined minus compass error upright on same heading. Healing error has to be described in terms of the course, on what course you are getting this healing error, the inclination and whether to port or starboard. You must specify this healing error is uh, on such and such course while the vessel is inclined so many degrees to port or starboard at a given place. So you cannot just simply say my ship's healing error is so much. You have to say healing error is so much on this course, on this inclination to port side or starboard side and at this place. So healing error as I told you is the difference between the compass error when inclined and compass error when upright. So we can understand the description of healing error uh, with a simple example at a given place on a certain heading while the vessel was inclined say 5 degrees to port the compass error was 2 degrees east and when upright on the same heading the compass error was nil. So healing error for that place on that course on that inclination is 2 degrees east minus 0 that is 2 degrees east. We can generally broadly divide the healing error in permanent healing error and another cause is induced healing error. Now induced healing error can be due to different rods K rod which is the most common and E rod and then G rod and then C rod. Now K rod can be understood as a pillar vertically below the magnetic compass. E rod can be understood as a beam below the compass which generally gives coefficient D. G rod can be understood as a fore and aft girder you know terminating whose one end is terminating below the compass. It could be from aft till the compass position or from the compass position to forward that is the G rod and C rod is a vertical soft iron so it could be the funnel or a center line mast. So these are the rods which give uh, healing error. Silent when the vessel is upright and comes into play only when the vessel is inclined and uh, another source of healing error is permanent healing error. Suppose the ship is built in northern hemisphere on this heading for a very long time you know say six months or so or maybe more uh, various kind of operations happening on the ship and uh, because of these operations what happens is the magnetic elements on the ship they tend to settle in or get streamlined in certain direction forming a permanent magnet and that permanent magnet which is set within the ship could have you know uh, would have uh, a polarity that is a blue pole where the signals hit first in the northern hemisphere the signals pour from top so we can say the quarter part the the stern part and the deck part has got blue pole and there is a red pole on the ship's hull on the other side near the keel right on the starboard side so this is a kind of a magnet that is formed on the ship now this magnet will have uh, three components the fore and aft component a thwart ship component and the vertical component fore and aft component is responsible for pb the third ship component is responsible for PC and vertical component that is R component is responsible for permanent healing error. Now let us try and understand how this uh, vertical uh, field 
how this uh, vertical component of permanent magnet that is going to cause permanent healing error and how the sky rod that is a pillar vertically below the magnetic compass will cause healing error with the help of a diagram. So in this diagram uh, we have seen that if the ship is built in northern hemisphere it will have a blue deck and the red uh, uh, keel. Blue deck and the red keel because the signals in northern hemisphere they pour from top wherever the signal hits first it makes uh, a blue pole. The color is blue. So in northern hemisphere the decks will be blue. In southern hemisphere if the ship is built the deck will be red. Now assuming that there is blue pole on the deck we may say that there is blue below the compass right and what happens let us say uh, when the vessel is upright the compass is on the binnacle right and even if there is a pole say for example blue pole because of this rod that is K rod Suppose there is blue pole under the compass, as the vessel is upright, you know, nothing happens. The vessel is upright, nothing happens because the pole is in meridian. But what happens when the vessel is healed? When the vessel is healed, this rod which is there would appear like this and the compass which is in the binnacle it is supported with the gimbals and I can probably draw the compass this way so that if you see the vertical plane passing through the pole and vertical plane passing through the compass needle they are not uh, in line which means that there is this blue pole which is going to attract the pointer of the magnetic compass pointer has got you know uh, attraction towards the blue color and the tail has got attraction toward the red color. Wherever there is blue under the compass, let us have a golden rule. Whenever there is blue under the compass, because of healing error, the needle will get deflected on the high side. So we don't talk about east-west. That's a subsequent uh, uh, information that the error is going to be east or west, depending on uh, what was the heading, uh, whether the color is blue, red, etc. But let's have the golden rule, which will always be correct and that is if there is blue under the compass the needle will get deflected in rolling it will get deflected towards the high side so like in this particular case if you are seeing the ship from behind let us say the ship is heading north and we are seeing the ship from behind we will say when the ship uh, is inclined towards the starboard so port is high needle will get deflected towards the port that means there is a westerly deflection and the same ship, when the rolling is on the other side, say the rolling is on port side, the starboard side becomes high and the needle gets deflected towards the high side, that is the starboard side, which by the way is east. The problem is healing error is different on port inclination and different on starboard inclination. And it also depends on the amount of inclination. That is the problem. So what happens is where the gyro is rock steady, while the gyro is rock steady, sometimes you must have seen the vessel is rolling, gyro is rock steady still, but the magnetic compass, if the healing error is not adjusted, you know, if the healing error is not adjusted for that latitude, the compass will jump violently from one side to other side because the healing error is different on port inclination and on starboard inclination. If this is K-Rod, when the ship goes to southern hemisphere, there will be red under the compass, right? Of course, uh, permanent magnetic field will not change color when we go to southern hemisphere, but uh, the soft iron rod, that is K-Rod, will have a red pole instead of blue when we go to southern hemisphere and therefore, in rolling, the needle will get, the needle will get deflected towards the low side. So let us try and understand what is this E rod. If uh, you look at the ship and if you assume this is the magnetic compass, if you have a beam just below the magnetic compass, it can be considered as E rod. So E rod normally is influenced by a horizontal field that is H and it gives rise to coefficient E. But when inclined, 
when the vessel is inflamed, listed or healed, then what happens is, in addition to H, the Z comes into play. Assume that the ship is steering north, we are in northern hemisphere and if the ship rolls to starboard, if the ship rolls to starboard, this pole becomes higher and this pole becomes lower. As the signal approaches, the part of the part of the conductor which is hit first, that is the higher side will become blue and the lower side will become red, right? On the uh, next roll, what will happen as the starboard side comes up, this will become blue color, this will become red color. The opposite will happen in southern hemisphere. These poles which are created additionally by Z, as the ship is inclined, what happens is the pointer will be attracted towards the blue color, blue pole and the tail will get attracted towards the red. We are looking at a ship from behind. The ship is heading north. So uh, this may be west side, this may be east side, here is a beam, here is a magnetic compass. And as the ship rolls on to starboard side, what will happen is you will get a blue pole here and a red pole here and this is because of the vertical induction. This is because of the Z. Right? So naturally, if you have blue here, the pointer will get attracted towards the blue, the tail will go towards the red. Let us now try and understand the effect of G rod. What is this G rod? G rod can be understood on board ship. It could be understood, suppose this is a magnetic compass, it could be understood as a girder which terminates just below the compass. It could be on the forward side, it could be on the aft side, and uh, you might therefore have a pole which is vertically below the compass and this is G-Rod. To understand this healing error effect of G-Rod, let us look at the ship in a plan view. Now ship is going towards the north. Now you have a geographic, you have magnetic south pole here, magnetic north pole here. The signals are going as you know from south pole to north pole and you have this magnetic compass. Now there is a G rod. Let us assume that this rod is this way and a pole is created. Now uh, it will always happen for a northerly course, you know it will always happen that there is a blue pole where the earth's field uh, hit the conductor first and there will be red pole on the other side. So here we have on the center line a red pole vertically below the compass. If there is red below the compass, as the ship rolls, the pointer will move, pointer will get deflected towards the low side. This is the golden rule. If there is red below the compass, if there is red below the compass, the pointer gets deflected towards the low side. So this is the effect of uh, uh, G rod. So what happens is these poles are always there. Like in this particular case, uh, there will be always blue pole here and uh, red pole here for a northerly course. If the rod was on this side, then there would be blue here and red here. The golden rule, if there is blue below the compass, needle will get deflected towards the high side in rolling or enlisted condition and if there is red below the compass needle will get deflected towards the blue side. So this is the effect of G rod. Let us try and understand the induced healing error that is caused because of C rod. C rod is a vertical soft iron in the center line. right? So it could be a, a center line mask or it could be a funnel which is always present on the ship. right? The funnel or the center line mask they would have the upper magnetic pole, you know, induced pole, more or less in line with the compass. So, in what way these poles cause a deflection while the vessel is inclined? How the deflection is not there when the ship is upright and how the deflection happens, how the deflection takes place when the ship is inclined. To practically understand, so visualize it, let us assume that the ship is 
uh, traveling in east direction here you have a needle naturally showing north here you have the earth's field right going in north direction and you have a funnel which has got a pole suppose it is a northern hemisphere so there is a blue pole over here now these vertical soft iron which are normally induced by z as the ship is inclined you know if we see the ship from behind you know this funnel which was upright as the ship rolls this funnel gets inclined like this and then what happens is if the field is traveling from this side the part of the conductor which is attacked first will become blue pole and the other part will become red pole now red or blue is caused because of horizontal field now we are not talking about because of z because of h the poles which are caused on the funnel while the vessel is inclined will attract the needle the needle will get deflected the pole which is closer to the compass or effective pole will alternately become red and blue during rolling so uh, while the pole is of blue color what happens is the pointer is attracted and while the pole becomes red the tail is attracted